Stop talking about big granny type knickers either. She's got these tiny ditty ones and bras with the ends missing. You're just telling me about Betty's underduds. <laughs> mm, fascinating. Anyway, where did you get all this lot from? Someone was saying at the shop yesterday. Never mind. You got busy at school. Who are you, my dad? If you like. Only on the nice one that don't bully you. Well, I'll be late in, in case you want the X round again. All right, Debbie. Oi, Lanky! Well, don't go far. This is no dad's today. Yeah. Yeah, he's just in my bag finishing my homework. Forget it. I already have. Is it true that you let them kids stay up till 11 o'clock? I don't let them do anything. They do whatever they like. They're impossible. Inside, please, right now. Meet me. Five or no bonfire night. Four or no bonfire yeah, night. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. Thank you. She seems to be managing. So what were you doing up at ours yesterday? Well, I would have thought it was obvious. She hasn't seen Andy for months. What's changed now? Look, I don't stick my nose into your business, It doesn't need you so... messing with his head, right? No, he's got you for that. What's he said to you? Nothing. Look, he's too old for you, Debbie. And your dad being a nut to me is that she can't go up there. You're talking at your backside, Katie. Nothing ever changes for you. Did you get off to school, all right? And she's not even got a name now. You know, you talk about her as though she was a dog. You need to cut her a bit of slack. Right. And that would be Debbie, would it? It's not to do with me. Yeah? You got one thing right there. And what's that? I'm trying to fix it. Yeah, well, I'll fix it. Your voice down. Well, you're the one that's been blabbing. Your dad's out there somewhere. Oh, is he? Well, let's get him in, cos you could do with a good kick in. Oh, shut up. How could you tell that dim witty tart about us? I hate you for that. It just came out. Oh, did it? Did you have a good laugh, then? Or was it your way of saying what an idiot you've been for, begging for us to get back with you? I don't want, Katie. So why did you tell her, then? Because it's driving me mad. Because you're turning some little dome out that your dad just keeps walking all over. Well, she was laughing at me. <sighs> you get this paranoid as he is. Psychologist are you now, farm boy? What are you doing, all? What's it got to do with you? Sit down, will you? I'm trying to have a word with you. Why should I? When you're nothing but an ignorant pig. Do you know what? I'm so glad my mum left you, because at least she's got a life now. I slept with four lads this morning, half the price of a bag of sweets. Kitty! What are you want to wear in it? Go on then! Just leave her alone! It's the only thing you're any good at! Is it true? You are. Hey! Is it? is it true? It might be, might not be! You'll never know! Ken! Go on then, Dad. Why don't you try the kidneys? The bruises won't show. Dad, I'm sorry! You're gonna end up dead, you. Am I? Well, it'll be your fault if I do. Leave him! You don't know what he's been through. You don't know anything about him. Dad, I'm sorry! It's a stupid thing to say, I know, but you just keep pushing and pushing look, me. Look, I don't want to wear it. I don't even want to look at you. What are we going to do? I'll talk to him. No, Andy, please. It's going to be all right. I've missed you so much. Shh. What do you want? I want you and Debbie to pack your things and go. I never sign up for this. This is my house, my farm, and you've either done a stroke of work. Yeah, I was just going to do the bedding up. I put them in there for the market. Right. So, so where are we supposed to live? All right, so I've lost her. Staying here like this, she'll lose her anyway. Except my way, she won't believe it in a box. I, I would never arm an error. What goes on in there? You don't know, because you're not a dad. <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? She's going to meet somebody one day and fall in love with them and have kids. No. 
the worst that could happen is a hooking up with scum like a mum did. After me. Well, it goes without saying. Andy, you're the only bloke I've got any time for around here. Even you couldn't manage to shoot your brother without winging your dad, so it's either scum or losers. And my kid ain't having neither. Look, I'm not begging you, right? I'm telling you. Any more of what happened earlier? Right, right, I get it. Do some money for the pub? Just let it be in advance. Yeah, we'll think again. Look, Andy, will you tell her... Oh, no, forget it, forget it. So have you been? Some breaking, a bit of entering, a little bit woe, a little bit way. Are you a magician? Because every time you show up, I disappear. Go on, get your slide. Sorry? Yeah, of course you are. Nothing's going to change if you keep sticking up for him. I'll tell me what to do then. Oh, Moving with charity if you have to. Is that what you want? He hits you, and then you go chasing back to him. And then he hits you again. And every time he hits you, it's going to get harder. Do you want me to go? I just can't stand seeing you being treated like that. Well, what am I supposed to do then? You tell me. Move away from him. From you, you mean? That's what all this is about, isn't it? You've had your little fling. You finished it. And now you won't rid, cos Kate is sniffing around again. I don't need you, farm boy. She's welcome to you. I couldn't give a toss about Katie. Yeah, right. I'm not trying to push you away. I'm trying to save you because I love you. Say it again. I love you. Say it again. I love you. I just don't want him to hurt you. <laughs> 